Hi all of you. In this video, I'm discussing Arthur Holmes isostasy theory. Now, isostasy they keep asking around mainly two theories. They ask you on Aries theory or they ask on Pratt's theory. As of now, that has been trend. Although I in the class also teach you how plate tectonics interpretation is an important modification in isostasy. So uh, when you are revising isostasy, you keep in mind three four things. One is make sure you understand the definition of isostasy. Isostasy is about balance, it's about the distribution of material. Isostasy tells us how landforms are able to have their equilibrium and not fall over. It's about how landforms compensate for erosion or deposition. So one good paragraph around what is isostasy. Then uh, irrespective of whatever question they ask on isostasy, make sure you have a couple of lines, a paragraph on what does Airy tell us and a couple of lines on what Pratt tells us. So Pratt's idea is equal masses underlie equal area. It's about density varies across different landforms. It's about there's a common plane of uh, compensation where all the density variation disappears. And uh, Pratt is also talking about uh, how isostasy is a consequence of the different type of material. It is a compensation theory in terms of density variations rather than a theory around how the flotation impacts. And Aries theory, two, three points, it's a flotation theory. It assumes the densities are all same. It assumes there is no common uh, plane of compensation, but uh, there are roots that balance. So these two, three points, use a table, diagram, okay, sketch that you have from the class notes, use it. Now, if they ask you Arthur Holmes, Arthur Holmes is uh, essentially a modification of Aries theory itself. So if they ask you Arthur Holmes theory, okay, you start with what is isostasy, then tell us what is Pratt and Aries telling us, and the controversy is about whether isostasy is compensation based or is isostasy flotation based. And then you say that according to Arthur Holmes, Aries concept is correct. The theory by Airy and Pratt was given in 1850s. Almost good uh, 70, 80 years later, Arthur Holmes is giving the theory in 1920s and 30s. Arthur Holmes has the, has the advantage of having verified both Pratt and uh, Airy. And Arthur Holmes also knows uh, quite a bit about the interiors of Earth, far more better than what Airy or Pratt had known. So when you write about Arthur Holmes theory, you make these three four assertions. Number one, uh, Arthur Holmes gave his theory much later, after understanding the interiors of Earth much better and understanding the mental dynamism much better. And based on those understanding of how the interiors are organized, there is a, a Moho's discontinuity, uh, there is a section where the mantle uh, becomes a softer one, although he did not know idea, he did not know the idea of asthenosphere as obviously. Okay, but he knows the interiors. And what Arthur Holmes says is that Aries theory of flotation is more correct. And like Aries said, there are roots. Arthur Holmes also said there are roots. For taller mountains, the roots are deeper. For shorter plateaus, the roots are more shallower. For the oceans, the roots are even more shallower. So if you are joining the roots of these landforms and features, what you get is the Moho's discontinuity. So if you know Moho's discontinuity, the difference, the discontinuity that separates the crust from the mantle. He says, if you are joining all the roots ka base, what you get is the Moho's discontinuity. So that he is able to apply. And one more addition Arthur Holm does is, like Pratt, he says that whatever roots you have, whatever variations you have, there is still one depth where the density variations completely disappear. He did not call it as a compensation depth, but he did refer to there is a common depth and he said the depth is at around 50 kilometers from the surface. If you remember a Pratt's model, in Pratt's model, Hayford and Bowie did some modification. Hayford and Bowie say that the depth of compensation is at around 100 kilometers. Arthur Holmes says no, the depth of compensation is at around 50 kilometers. So three points. Arthur Holmes is supporting Aries idea. Arthur Holmes gives an idea of the Moho's discontinuity wherever you are joining the roots of the landforms. And Arthur Holmes also adds an element of Pratt's idea by saying there is a depth 
at 50 kilometers where the density variations ultimately are completely normalized. Then an interesting aspect of Arthrom's theory is because he knows the convection currents, how mantle rocks are flowing, uh, how we have got uh, you know the, the molten magma moving. So Arthur Holmes adds the idea that the isostatic balance is also the consequence of the mantle dynamism. So whenever there is unloading, the mantle dynamism can push the landform upwards. Whenever there is loading going on, the landforms can push and displace the molten magma of the mantle. So this uh, mantle dynamism as a part of the crustal stability and isostatic balance, this uh, Arthur Holmes added to the theory of Airy. In fact, now we do know, platonics does say this, that it is the flow of olivine of the asthenosphere that maintains the balance of the landforms. So in essence, Arthur Holmes is combining the concepts of uh, uh, you know, flotation theory of Airy he combines the idea of mental dynamism and this combination is what ultimately is used by the plate tectonics in the plate tectonics interpretation of the isostasy. So if you write these four or five points, Arthur Holmes answer is done. But even if they ask Arthur Holmes, make sure you have few lines on Aries theory and few lines on Pratt's theory. See uh, Arthur Holmes theory more as a bridge a bridge between the older theories of airy and the modern concepts of plate tectonics because the mental thing comes into the isostatic balance.